Hi, I'm Will, the engineer from 4 Fire Accessories and Tyres. Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble and install the Tomahawk Canopy for the 2023 Ford Ranger and Raptor. These are the tools that you will need to install the Tomahawk Canopy. An impact wrench, a blowtorch, Torx 40, a formal Allen key, a ratchet, a ratchet spanner, 13mm socket, 10mm socket and a plastic trim removal tool. The Tomahawk Canopy comes in three boxes. The first thing to do when you receive these three boxes is take a good look over them, is to know any visible damage on any documentation from the delivery driver. Each box is labelled with which part or which parts are within it. The next thing to do is un unbox the parts, line them on a protective surface and check the condition. Once you have unwrapped all your parts and uh, checked them for damage, familiarise yourself with which parts which using the labels which explain what's what. You can also take a look at the fittings reference which gives you the number and the part and what it is. Following the steps within the instructions you can now start to assemble the Tomahawk canopy. The first step is to bolt the side panels to the top part. This part is very important because it can be assembled in the wrong orientation. Please note the front is labelled so you know which is the front. The first step is to put your button head bolt through the holes in the roof rails. Push the roof rail with the bolts in through the canopy top so that the bolts come through the foam on the underside of the rail. Once you've repeated this step for the other side, lie back down your canopy top on your protective surface and you're ready to install the sides. The canopy sides have tabs which slide through some slots that are on the side rails of the canopy top. There's five fixings each side and it's an M6 washer with the M6 lock nut. Just finger tight at this stage. The next step is to install the front and rear sections of the canopy. For this you're going to need plate number 13, plate number 14, washer 11 and nut 10. The front of the canopy top goes to the front piece which refers to the bulkhead. On the plate that doesn't have the bolts welded in, there's a little bit of rubber that's a seal. It's important that this goes against the metal, like so. On the front section, this part that sticks out goes on the underside of the side part. The next step is fitting the rear part that refers to the tailgate section of the canopy. For fitting the rear part of the tailgate section, we repeat the steps we used on the front section. It's important to note that at this stage, everything is just finger tight only at this point. We will wait till all parts are assembled and then we will tighten it up. Now we have all the sections loosely fitted together, we can proceed to tighten the fittings. For the front and rear section, we just need a 10mm spanner. And for fitting the sides to the top section, we will need a 4mm Allen key and a 10mm spanner. When tightening all four sections together, it's really important to make sure the seal is stayed in the right place. When you tighten it up, it doesn't stick out or come out. It stays in there and you nip it up correctly to ensure that it's watertight. Once you've done this, in these four corners, fit the remaining M6 fittings that you've got and tighten those up. Using the uh, supplied adhesion promoter, clean the surface where we're going to fix the rubber sealing strip. Go right around the outside as this is where the uh, rubber strip will fit. 
Now we can fit the supplied ceiling rubber to the outer edge of the canopy. When fitting the ceiling rubber, pull back the plastic protection strip and apply good pressure whilst fitting the rubber to the outside edge of the underside of the canopy. The canopy is now ready for fitting to the vehicle. Quick note, there is more than one set of keys. Let's remove the keys and put them somewhere safe. Now we're going to show you how to remove the Wildtrack Sports Bar. The first step, using a plastic trim removal tool, is to remove these inner sections here. Remove these three bolts in this corner here using a Torx 40. These bolts for the tie down points require heating up to be removed. The fitment of the canopy is made easier if you remove these three bolts here and they are 10mm head. Once you remove the bolts, lift up and remove this bracket. Each step is repeated for each side. Now remove these two bolts here. Again, these are 10mm head. Lift up and remove the top section. Undo this bolt, but do not fully remove. Towards the back of the bed, on the underside, there are two 13mm nuts. Remove these. To remove this section, Inside the bed on the underside, there is clips. If you release these, you can then pull and lift this off. Then repeat for the other side. It is recommended to clean the bulkhead window as once the canopy is installed, this can't be accessed. Also clean the bulkhead window on the canopy. We're now ready to lift the canopy onto the pickup bed. It is recommended two to three people do this. One at each side, and if you have a third at the tailgate section, keeping the tailgate closed. We're now ready to fix the canopy down. Open the tailgate section by pressing the catch releases. Using the instructions for the fittings reference, you can then begin to put your fittings in and screw down. There is five fittings on each side. Once you've bolted these down, Repeat for the other side. Once you've tightened all your fixings to the pickup bed, you can close everything up. That is the installation complete of the Tomahawk canopy on the 2023 Ford Ranger and Raptor.